Hi! Welcome to Project Ventive. Please like, share and subscribe and also check out www.projectventive.com. Robear, a robot designed to lift elderly people out of bed. Robear is a humanoid robot to assist people with mobility problems, elderly, sick. It can help people to get up or to move from a wheelchair to bed. It was developed by the Riken Institute, a research center founded by Takamine Jokichi in 1917 in Japan. The feature that stands out the most is its endearing appearance, resembling a humanoid teddy bear. A key feature in its operation is the precision and speed of the joint system, provided by actuator units with a very low transmission ratio. This gentle movement is also provided by the ability of these actuators to return force to the system. In the same way, it includes three different types of sensors that facilitate this balance between force and sensitivity so necessary. It has humanoid arms coated with urethane foam that ensure patient comfort. The first version of Robear, called Reba, Riken's robot for interactive body assistance, was developed in 2009, followed by Reba 2, in 2011 preceding a new model, released in February 2015. The improvements have been mainly in terms of the lightness and range of motion of the robot. The 2015 one weighs 140 kilograms, 90 less than Reba 2. In the same way, it incorporates a system of fold-out legs that, by offering a greater balance when it does, allows the robot to have a smaller base, which adds the possibility of crossing narrower paths such as doors, etc. The articulatory mechanism in general is more fluid and moves more smoothly. Functions of Robear Robot Robear was developed by thinking about the shortage of caregivers for dependent people. This need is especially evident in Japan, where the average age of the population has risen a lot. 6. That said, the project is not intended to replace the work of caregivers, but to assist them in basic but physically exhausting tasks, such as lifting patients from bed, moving them or placing them in their wheelchairs. To do some of these actions Robear requires human assistance. It is marketed with the slogan, the strong, gentle touch robot. 3. It can help workers in tasks that require a lot of strength when they have to lift people, a frequent operation in the day-to-day -day care of dependent people. Without technical help, over time it is a cause of many back pain problems. Japan's Riken Brain Science Institute and rubber manufacturer Sumitomo Riko have built an experimental robot bear nurse that is able to lift patients and gently transfer them between beds and wheelchairs. Robot for elderly care. Aging populations are an increasing concern and in Japan, hospital staff and carers in nursing homes are required to lift patients about 40 times a day, which is strenuous and can cause lower back pain. To aid carers, the Riken SRK Collaboration Center for Human Interactive Robot Research in Nagoya has developed a care support robot with the face of a cute, lovable cartoon like bear to aid patients in sitting and standing up. Robear has mechanical arms that are able to carry up to 80 kilograms of weight and also has roller legs that can extend and retract from a base as necessary when bending to lift a patient or when maneuvering through tight spaces like doorways. The robot weighs 140 kilograms and it is powered by software and advanced actuators, a type of motor that controls mechanisms, as well as three different types of sensors, including smart rubber capacitance type tactile sensors entirely of rubber. All of these attributes enable the robot to move both slowly and smoothly with very gentle movements that do not jolt the patient in its arms. Riken says that, so far, Robots have never been used for this purpose in any hospital. We really hope that this robot will lead to advances in nursing care, relieving the burden on caregivers today. We intend to continue with research toward more practical robots capable of providing powerful yet gentle care to elderly people, said Toshiharu Mukai, leader of the Robot Sensor Systems Research Team at the Riken SRK Collaboration Center for Human Interactive Robot Research. The researchers have been working to develop a robot to assist with patient care since 2009. The first version was Robot for Interactive Body Assistance, Reba, which could lift a weight of up to 61 kilograms. 
The second incarnation, Reba II, weighs 230 kg and can carry a weight of up to 80 kg. Robert improves on its predecessors by being lighter and having the smallest base yet. Robert is based on Riken's robot for interactive body assistance, Reba, and Reba II assistance robots that were unveiled in 2009 and 2011, respectively. It was developed by the Riken SRK Collaboration Center for Human Interactive Robot Research in Nagoya, and is designed to be strong, yet gentle, with a cartoonish head and a soft design that is intended to be as untransformer-like as possible. Robots not only promise to make up for the shortage of carers, but to save human personnel from having to carry out strenuous tasks, such as lifting patients out of bed 40 times a day. To this end, like Reba II, Robert can lift a patient out of bed and into a wheelchair, help patients to stand, and to turn them to prevent bed sores, but it weighs only 140 kilograms, 308 pounds, to Reba II's 230 kilograms, 507 pounds. Paradoxically, it also has a smaller base than the previous model, yet is more stable. This is due to a set of deployable legs that it can use to steady itself as needed, yet tuck away when moving. According to Riken, Robert has improved, very low gear ratio actuators that make its joints fast and responsive. They also have back drivability, a feedback mechanism that makes for softer movements. In addition, there are torque sensors and smart rubber capacitance type tactile sensors for gentle movements that allows Robert to lift and assist patients safely and comfortably. The robot's clunky design has apparently been shaped by the tasks required of it. Tipping the scales at 308 pounds, 140 kilograms, Robert is strong and agile enough to gently lift a patient from a bed to a wheelchair, or help them get from a sitting position to a standing one. Robert incorporates features that enable it to exert force in a gentle way scientists from Japanese research institution Riken and Sumitomo Riko Company have developed an experimental nursing care robot which is capable of performing tasks such as lifting patients from bed or helping them to stand. Robert, developed by the Riken SRK Collaboration Center for Human Interactive Robot Research in Nagoya, is a successor to Reba, which was developed in 2011. The new Robert robot is lighter than its predecessors, weighing just 140 kilograms, and incorporates a number of features that enable it to exert force in a gentle way. It includes actuator units with a very low gear ratio, allowing the joints to move quickly and precisely, and allowing back drivability, meaning that the force encountered by the actuators as they perform their tasks can be quickly fed back into the system, enabling softer movement. It also incorporates three types of sensors, including torque sensors and smart rubber capacitance-type tactile sensors made entirely of rubber, which enable gentle movements, ensuring that the robot can perform power-intensive tasks such as lifting patients without endangering them. The robot also has a smaller base, making the total system more lightweight. It avoids falling over through the use of legs that can be extended when necessary for lifting a patient but retracted to enable the robot to maneuver through tight spaces. How does Robert Robot works? The Robert Robot Ear is designed to find the direction to nearby sound sources. In audiology, this is called localization. Humans can usually localize a sound to plus 10 degrees. The Robert's three microphone array can usually localize a sound to a 30 degree sector. It uses amplitude comparison and acoustic cross-correlation to localize sounds. The Robert's internal processing is done on a PIC 8-bit microcontroller. The Robert can also function as an audio acquisition front-end for more powerful computers. Communication with the host computer is jumper-selectable as either UART or SPI. Complete documentation can be found in the user's manual on the data and documentation page. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to Project Ventive and also check out www.projectventive.com.